office. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yagami-san, that was Shintani-sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? This is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. Been years since we had a murder case. Shintani-sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. Shintani Sensei is waiting for you at Tender. Shintani asked for you specifically, huh? I wonder what the case is. Okay, so I should suck them. ありがとうございました。Bring it on. Spot. Back to it.
You asked Really, guys? Excuse me. <laughs> it's called Tender. Got my first job here 20 years back. Masuda san never changes. Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani sensei is in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> Surprised to see me? I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that talk? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on. You called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Huh? And I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Let's call it a business expense. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura, from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Ticket he's your client? Yep. Got hauled in earlier. You're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugane patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda Sensei is the go to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat then? Genda Sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. Yeah, I suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown of the case first. The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy. Part of the Kyore clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Cops think Hamura is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here. So the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. His third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly given the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on, even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Yeah, that's pretty harsh. Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? Why'd they come after Hamura, of all people? Two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurojin away. Mm. Odds are, this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. You think Hamura really killed him? Just curious. I don't know. I don't really care. If he says he's innocent, I gotta prove he's innocent. It's my job. I think
think I know enough. We should get to the station. You go on ahead. I got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. Will do. Alright, let's see what this has to say. Hmm. No evidence. Much. I don't even know how to taunt. Leaving already, talk, and only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. Tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. Another customer of mine has. What if the body from the flash? Nope, the body's gone. <laughs> I forget what happened in this place. Right, just before I go in there, I thought to check out a few old places. codes. So I don't exactly know what those look like yet. Just progress for now. <laughs> we just keep running into each other tonight, eh, Doc? Why the long face? Hammer-san. Uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. And I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. 
So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. No. Because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Better. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. This is bullshit! Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. But then, that Okubo guy... Well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tak. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. You wanted that precious acquittal so bad, you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose. Right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emi Tarasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face him. <clears throat> you think, uh, we could maybe get back to the case? Sure. I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyore clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani-sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? Apparently between 2 and 3 in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? Well, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Who's the detective in charge of the case? Kuroiwa, from Organized Crime. Shintani-sensei is probably real familiar with him. I am. More so because he's one of those brutes with a badge. Pretty sure the Kyori murders are his case. Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kyori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. What? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep, a is one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. I left right after, too. 
few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club, and he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you too if I was a cop. What do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run-of-the-mill Kyori Grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he'd take that kind of risk in hostile territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Kyori asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. Why didn't you guys take Kume's friend in, too? <laughs> we tried. Bastard ran like the goddamn wind, though. I think I've heard enough for now. We'll get going, then. Yagami, head over to Sonico 10 for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later. <laughs> 